Hey, what's up? Welcome, welcome, welcome to the video. It's your man, Jerry Goins, YGM. You got Money Team, where we believe freedom is a mindset. Listen, excuses do not pay the bills. That's one thing I want y'all to think about while I go over this video, go over this content really quickly. During the whole entire thing, I want you to think about this. Excuses do not pay the bills. Okay, you got to do something that's extraordinary to get extraordinary results. Okay, so if you agree with that, stay watching, and I guarantee I got something for you at the end. All right, so basically, all boils down to this the law of averages and how you can use the law of averages to really gain some traction financially. Okay, and really attract some wealth to you using the law of averages. This is how the wealthy people think. Okay, so law of averages really helps me to get the bigger picture. Uh, in terms of business and in terms of network marketing and this is why it works okay to put it simply if you sell a product that can give you a thousand dollar profit you would have to sell that to a thousand people in order to make your million dollars okay now here's the thing you might have to talk to like 10 people before you make one sale which means that you have to talk to 10,000 people to make your million dollars okay so when I say 10,000 people some people like Skr! Hold up, hold on, Jerry talking that crazy stuff. 10,000 people. First of all, I don't have time. Second of all, I don't like people. Third of all, I don't like sales. Fourth of all, I hate sales. Fifth of all, see number four, because I hate sales. Okay. Now, granted, there's a million ways to make a million dollars out there. And if you want to be a millionaire, by the way, there are 14 million millionaire households in America. Okay. But you have to do something that 89% of Americans are not doing. You have to do something that 89% of people are not doing out there, okay? And if you're happy being mediocre, then that's fine. That's up to you. As long as you're happy, as long as you're peaced out and you got, you know, you're zenned out and you're doing your yoga and your meditation and stuff like that, that's fine. But this right here is for people that want to beat the system, people that are tired of living paycheck to paycheck, and they want that lifestyle that they know they deserve okay you have to be able to go the extra mile put in extra discipline do some extra things develop some different habits and you have to develop a work ethic a wealthy worth work ethic and you have to do some things that you haven't been taught before so to talk to 10,000 people you could talk to one person every day for 27 years or five people every day for about five and a half years or 10 people every day for 3.7 years sounds like a lot right but listen Think of all the people that you know that have worked longer than 37 years and still don't have at least $100,000 in the bank, okay? So that right there already lets you know that the system could work if you just did it that way. But what if you did what the wealthy do and use leverage, okay? You already have access to Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, all these social platforms that allow you to talk to millions of people for free. Now you just have to reach like maybe 100 views per video instead of 10 people you got to talk to 100 people you know over the or online to make one sale but it can still work for you because that video is going to work for you forever okay that's called leverage right there you, you can also leverage a team to help you build okay that's what your job is doing right now they're leveraging you to help them build their business they probably make a hundred to five hundred dollars an hour but they pay you ten you know, so let's say you had a team of five people helping you in this business where you're making a thousand dollars for every product that you sell. OK, let's say you're paying these people that's on your team five hundred dollars each and you did no extra work. OK, so I repeat that you have a team of five people. You're paying them five hundred dollars each for each sale that they make. They only had to talk to four hundred people each and you would still make a million dollars. That's crazy. Each person would have to talk to one person every day for a little over a year or five people over a day for less than three months, 10 people a day for less than two months. And you would still make a million dollars in a fraction of the time using none of your own effort. OK, remember, you did nothing. OK, so one thing that I've learned is that sales is the highest paid profession in the world. OK, so what if you could build a team of sales professionals and you got paid every time they did something to get paid themselves? OK, that's what network marketing is all about. That's what MLM and multi-level marketing and people who want to run and stuff like that. But at the heart of it all, it basically allows you to 
use concepts that the wealthy are already using to make themselves wealthy and it gives it to you in a platform that you pay a small monthly fee for and that small monthly fee usually goes towards your website maintenance or a product or a service that you can actually use yourself okay so we have a business here with Novate Money where anyone can get started for a dollar for a limited time now hit me up months from now and the promo is gone and say what happened to the dollar Jerry but it's fifty dollars a month normally, and it puts you in line to earn anywhere from twenty to four hundred dollars anytime a sale is made by you or somebody on your team. Okay, there's even a startup bonus where you can earn fifteen hundred dollars in your first thirty days. Actually, more than that, but I say more than that, and people get scared. So let's just stick with fifteen hundred dollars. That's a nice number that people can stomach. Okay, <laughs> the only thing that holding most people back is those five things that I talked about earlier. Okay, so. First of all, people say you don't have time, but you work a job and that's 40 hours a week away from your family, 40 hours a week that you're not investing in yourself, working for somebody else. So you already don't have time, but you go to a job. Second, people say they don't like people, right? Well, you don't like your coworkers. You don't like your boss, but you show up every day, right? Third, people say you know they're not good at sales, you know. But if you think about it, when you first got started at your job, you weren't good at your job neither. They were, in fact, they were overpaying you in the beginning for a job that you didn't really know how to do, okay? But you got better at it over time, and then they underpay you for the rest of the time that you're there. Fourth, most people hate their job. You say you hate sales, but most people hate their job at the same time. But guess what? You still show up every day. So, in the in the fifth thing, of course, is you know they. They hate their job again, you know, so they, but still, you get what I'm saying. And now, I just don't understand why people can excuse themselves to work a job, but then use those same excuses to keep themselves from being wealthy. You get what I'm saying? Again, excuses do not pay the bills, okay? Power company don't care that you don't like sales or that you were out of work. You know, the, the water company don't care that, you know, you had a flat tire and you missed work or something like that. And you didn't have no money coming in because you don't have a business. Um, you know, cell phone company don't care that, you know, you need to call somebody very important, but you can't right now because, you know, something catastrophic happened and you, were, you had to miss work for some reason. And they don't care that you don't like people, so you don't have a business. You know, <laughs> excuses don't pay the bills, okay? Ask the person that invited you to this video or get in contact with me. Uh, let's get you started on a journey. You know, it's actually not even that bad. You're basically just helping people do something that they already were going to do, except for now they go through you, you get paid, they get a great deal. They get started, um, and it, let's say they want to start getting paid. Now, every time that they help other people get paid or make a sale, now you get an override commission. Just like insurance, that's just like um, an insurance broker works, uh, just like real estate agents work, just like that. Um, there's other sales companies that, well, actually, all sales companies work like that. You know, you got a, a manager that receives overrides every time somebody on his team makes a sale. But now when we put it in an arena where it's affordable for everybody to get started, they don't have to go out ripping and running and tearing up the track and knocking on doors and burning up the phones. They can just talk to a few family members, hold a few meetings in their house. You know, and now it's a problem because they're just not used to that. This right here is information that people are using right now to get wealthy. This is how I've definitely earned a lot of money just working from home. And I don't even like to tell people too much about that because then it scares them away. Because then they're like, well, I, I never made that much. Or, you know, but the fact of the matter is, I want you to make more than me. Okay. Network marketing is different from corporate America because the main reason is I'm going to tell you everything I can to help you be successful. Whereas your supervisor or your boss, that's somebody that you work for, they tell you just enough information to get the job done because they don't want you to what? Take their job. Here, you can't take my job. Okay. If anything, the more money you make, the more money that I'll make on the back end. But you can make more than me. Okay. And you can make more than the people that are helping you in this organization, you can make more people on your team because it's based on your own effort. It's based on what you can do, you know? So I just want to give you all that. Remember, excuses don't pay the bills, y'all. Use leverage to actually gain wealth and attract wealth to you. Offer product and service. If it's not network marketing, get a business anyway. You know, do something that you love. Do something that you're passionate about. You know, shout out to everybody out there that's not even in network marketing, but doing something that they love with their hands, with their services, with their mind being creative, um, you know, with their work, you know, whether they're pushing lawnmowers or just um, 
moving and doing things like that, but they have their own company, so they don't necessarily have to work. You know, they have a team or they pay other people to work for them. You know, that's right there. That's how you pass on generational wealth. You can't pass on your nine to five job, okay? But you can pass on a business that you own. All right. So that's really all I have to say, man, because you know I get up here and Jerry talk forever. But um <laughs> YGM is a movement. We believe freedom is a mindset. Come join us. Have a great day. Peace out.